Okay, let's see if we can add a little bit of momentum um, to this lamp now. Okay, but before I do, um, in the last video you'll have noticed that I had a little bit of a twitch in the foot. Um, the fix for it was, and it was my own silly fault, because I put the keyframe on 17, there were two keyframes far too close together um, to keep it consistent. So I deleted it off 17 by right clicking and going to delete, uh, and then I just set a new keyframe on 16. So that sorted that out. Right, let's get some rotating going on. So let's be on frame one. Now again, we want to add animation to everything. So we're going to need um, something new to add animation to. So we're going to have a new group. To do that, we're going to put our height animation group into a new group. So select it from your outliner, press Control and G, and then you'll see we've got a group within a group. So I'm going to call group one um, rotation animation. Um, obviously, there's no k in that word there we go okay now before i animate anything there's one problem i need to sort out i want to rotate but at the moment the pivot point is right at the bottom which means he sort of rotates around his, his foot which in some instances might be useful for this one it's really not so we need to move the pivot point back into the center of the shape really so to do that you just click on modify and then find center pivot and give it a click and that's much more central now, which makes rotating far easier. So making sure you've got your rotation animation selected and you're on frame one, you can just press S because we're happy with that. Frame six, we're gonna rotate it forward. And the reason for that is to make it look like as he goes forward, he's got a bit of momentum. Yep, so there's some weight to this. Frame 11, well, I've set a keyframe there before I move on. Uh, frame 11, put him back to be straight again. You know, as straight as you, you can. And press S. Frame 16. Just rotating back a little bit. I've already rotated him quite a lot just using the animation we've done so far. So I don't need to move him back too far on this one. Press S. And then frame 1. We're going to copy and paste. Yeah. Paste. There we go. So all that rotation should be nice and happy. So. Again, we'll give that a play. And there you go. You can now see, hopefully, it'll be more evident once we get it moving forward, but you can see that it looks a bit more like there's some uh, momentum being built up. Lovely. Okay, that was a nice easy step. Um, what we've got to do next then is get the head sorted. So we'll do that in the following video.